last Sunday, Sunday with him, God woke me up at about 7 a.m. in the morning. And something he has told me over the man. What we to Chazenga Ngabo Kumale Bang. But I didn't know how. Perhaps even my understanding of some things was a bit dim. I, I waited, right? And then at seven in the morning. In fact, that night I stayed awake for so long. Oh, it's the But She woke me up at 7 in the morning and told me a lot of things about an hour and a half. And then after that, I asked him how I'll do it. So he told me, okay, give me a go ahead, tell me a few things that I'm going to share tonight. But Probably what I want to share is more of a picture than just a mere convicting of a person. No, 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 no. You understand what I'm trying to say? So whatever I'm going to share, don't take it personal. Do you understand? Just listen and learn. This is why. The Lord told me in a few months from now, we're going to be so big that the administration that we have now as a ministry won't be able to contain the need of the people. That means we're going to hire people. We're going to train people. You understand? We're going to equip saints. And we're going to have to set down some systems, right? That will allow for the growth of the ministry. Ordaining is not enough. Those of you that have been in salvation for a long time, you know that titles are not necessarily the thing. We've seen people with a lot of titles but without the substance. Do you understand? I'm going to say a few hard things. But as I say, don't take them past. Because these things are truth. You just have to learn. The Bible says all scripture is profitable. For reproof. The scriptures allow us to instruct. Any difference between the instruction of a man led of God and a spiritual baby is one who is mature learns to instruct in meekness. They learn to rebuke in meekness. They learn to teach in meekness. That if some obey not, still keep the page of humility. Okay? Mm. If somebody won't understand you, if somebody doesn't understand you, why? Don't fight. You understand? We were not raised that way. Don't try to equal up with everybody who won't understand you. Some people have this thing, they have to fight until the end. But at a particular point, you must learn to we lose some battle. We must lose some battles with people. And win wars. 
no wangula entabalo do you understand what we are taking that ngamba hey good let's go let's go okay good praise god yeah my this guy i'm going to the miaka mingi mumani i'm just introducing him praise the lord praise the lord amen hallelujah amen that his mother raised us the gospel by the way this guy is mother this is benita mawich she raised that in the gospel praise the lord amen so me and him we come from far very far the name emma took a while i saw emma with him you're getting him but that praise the lord amen <laughs> Nadie es Jiki. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. So, you're going to see a lot of changes come over the few months. Mugenda kula be chuka chuka nyingi ngazi chokumara mu mwezi kino nito. And some of the things I'm going to say now. Ebi mbi ngenda okogera kati. I to prepare you. Bia kubateka teka. And the challenges that are going to come. Nti okusomoza boku genda okujja. Obvious challenges that come with the church that is growing. E okuke kusomoza boku abuli jo kujja ne kanise ekula. You will remember some of this one. Every gambe mu mujapi jukira. I know what to do. Era mu manye echo kola. Praise the Lord. Amen. I know what to do. Era mu manye. The people who come later. Nti abantu abali joru vanyuma. And they sit in the comfort zone. Ne batura mu mu bipe byokuumu. We want need to preach those sermons on television. Te tulieta akakubulira ndiri zo kuti radio. Kubabu kubabu main service. Oba mu service enkuru ngazi because they will have enough people to equip them wow. to teach them those things if you've noticed here we don't have discipleship class yet we don't have this class yet we don't have that because by the leading of god the first group that we had Kumangas group which is you. Oro kulunga mya kwa katonda ekibinje kisoka te tubadi nacho nga yemwe. You was supposed to give you everything. Twali na okubaba buli chintu chonna. Do you understand? Wali wategera chingamba. Everything. Buli chintu chonna. So you don't need to attend discipleship school. Kakati te mweta gate ku damobo. We give it to you kwa kuigirizibwa. We give it to you on weekend. Twa kwa weekend tuchiba ku Sunday tuchiba mu week. The things you have learned mulina bintu bye muyize when you meet some people who went to discipleship class ngabo sisika na bantu abake na mu mutendekero bya bawo yigirizwa te babimani do you understand what we are taking that this is not a place of boss this is a place of truth chino sichipo cha kwenye mirita chino chipo cha mazima so we have a few sundays to preach this kind of thing kaka tuti na yo sunday ntonezo kubulira bintu ngabi mu because soon our letter will be too big to say that kubanga we ebanga masa otononyo tugena kubaba anti nyonga tukatula bio but we have faithful and trustworthy men neti tokubana abantu abesikwa era abesikika and we have to teach these things to those people who come abana abisometa ababa jo when somebody ntio omuntu nga yakalokoka discipleship plan nga agena mu discipleship plan you understand what we are taking that Don't worry about the rating of the world. Temu pa ayo in setula betia etu etu sengeke etia. Some people if you don't go to their Bible school you don't know God. Abantu abamu otoke na mu Bible schools abo tomani katonda. But they themselves don't even have fruit. Na yi nga bobe nini nabo aba tendekelo ya Bible tebai na chibana. So tell me the guy who the disciples contacting out devil. Kakati mbulira kuno omusajja abayikizo ko basanga nga gobe. The Bible says they refused him. Ne bamukana because it doesn't follow ubanga tangoberera wa muna abo discipleship school na yeta bela mutendekero liye limuna abo te bamula bayo now they should have asked themselves the first kakati bali ebuzi ze chibuzo who told to this guy and to come out there ya some some sajono we bakoba emizimu kuba ajikoba sometimes they was disturbed orumwe emizimu jitutawanya and we go to jesus and that's key ne tukende liye sina tumubuza why don't we cast them out si etatu lobe to go what diamond yen who was this man asking ono musabye yabuza ngani hey who was this man confiding in ono musabye ali ku yatunuliranga Some of us, we were very wrong. We didn't have people teaching us. Many of the things we learned were taught of us by God. That I learned the secret sometimes. To take a man to a place where God can teach 
Because you might not be there to answer all his questions. But Jesus is always there. Yes. Wow. Am I making sense? We learn these things just breathe, blah, blah, then just drops in your throat. And we started to listen to some people who went to Bible school. I met an Orthodox brother of mine. He entered Bible school. And came out with a conclusion. Divine healing doesn't exist. Divine healing doesn't exist. Divine Divine healing doesn't exist. Divine healing we sat down for over an hour contending over healing. And when I showed him by the scripture, he told me never go to the school I went to. Do you understand what I'm trying to tell you? Who taught for? But he knew God. He laid the foundation. The teachers who walked with the Lord. And that's the delusion of association. The fact that you think you've been around Apostle Grace or Pastor Isaiah for a long time. You think it will just shed off like that. And for some it works. Some it works. Some it does. Do you understand? Do you understand? Mm. Okay, let's read the Bible. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's read the Bible. Galatians 6, 4. Bagalatia Mukaga Nya. The very same man. Wobotu say Gamba Amen. Galatians. Bagalatia. Galatians. Mukaga. Galatians. Galatians chapter. Bagalatia Mukaga Nya. Praise the Lord. Let's begin from the third verse. I declare that you are not a sinner. Just to go there, I'm going to say, "Can you check the situation?" Borrow my, borrow my. You know, you are Uganda. You are not going to go. Borrow my. 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 Let's begin from three. Okay, He says, if a man thinks himself to be something, when he is nothing, he deceives himself. Uh. Did you hear that? When a man thinks himself to be something, when he is nothing, he deceives himself. Let's lie. But let every man prove his own work. And then shall he have rejoicing in himself alone. And not in another. See, Mumulara. The days of because you belong to heart of Christ, it means devils won't attack you, are coming to an end. Kakati enakuzo kugama mbuzi wa heart of Christ, they mizimu tajiso kula kunduba. Because you have heart of Christ. Eh, chokume na heart of Christ. It's 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 gonna end. Digenda kubwa we. It's gonna be. Digenda kubwa. The understanding that devils don't attack me because I am all born of God and I know what it is. That is the problem with the sons of Skeva. In the name of Jesus, who Pastor Isaiah preaches, not who you know. It's in the name of the, that guy whom Michael laid down, the guy whom Michael sang. Nga, nga, musuba Michael, we yase, ni kono kuori, nange. You can live by it for some time. Chiso kolo kuko, ni doku malaka banga. But you get to a point and it comes. Na yo, ina wotu kanga, te chiso vola. That you must prove your own one. Nti, oteko kema, emirimu ujo. And then you shall have rejoicing. 
in yourself. Orioke obeno kusanyuka mukwe. Not in another. Si mumulalo bobe no kwenye miliza mukwe. Si mukwenye miliza mbalala. That is no longer because Papa preached on Sunday. Kakati nga te chichari kumu zeite ya volite kusande. That it will be about what have you done about the message. Wabula nga chiri kuchicho kose kuche cha volitua. It's not about Simaya uwa uwa big choir. It's about who worships in the choir. Not just the best combination of the day. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Of course, the covering will be there. Because God honors His servant. There's things that will not touch you. Because God honors us. Kubanga katonda atusama HT. He can't put us to shame. Ngatasobola tusuaza. Obwana wa mzeiru beka. Yaribu hatio. Ngatasobola. Do you understand? Hmm. There are things that when they happen. Waliwe mtu nga ebiba hao. We can't be put to shame. Tusobola kusuazi kwa kitu. That's what Michael told me. They've said I have cancer. He was laughing also. Mzei Michael. We young man. Tifam Gambia ina. Cancer. He was laughing. But in godly anger, I also told him that is crap. I told him. Don't tell him. I said, I say, sorry. So what are we going to do? No, no, no. I told him that is crap. Somebody else, can not be you? That's what I'm back with. That is Soboka. How? How do we sit here? Do you understand? What we are taking up? We don't die like that. Let me tell you. If you submitted in this church, I want to submit to you. We don't die that way. We don't. Make up your mind. I don't care which disease is in your body. You understand. You, 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 you wait, understand. Wait, 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 wait. That we don't die that day. We sleep in another way, but we don't die that day. Praise the Lord. Amen. So, whatever wants to kill you should make up its mind. Either to try you out and be tormented, or to try another one in advance. But it must know. Because it even thinks to come next to you. And these things are possible. They are possible. There was a man of God that they wrote about. Don't he started the church. Mm. He said they spent about 12 years and they had never buried their church member. Never. Never. They were telling them their church was the healthiest. They didn't know anybody dying. That means if you join the church and you're 80, you're sure. Chite keza ati wajamo leni angoli ba ya na na kuna bisi ngo chimani nti ebi ya kafumi ya dita po tosho kula kubanga ngo limura de tosho kula kubanga busi bona tell your neighbor this possible gamba mlima na uchi soboka hallelujah amen he says but let every man prove his own one nti wuli muntu leka keme ebi ni muzi and then shall he have rejoicing in himself era anaba no kwe ni mizi zamuji yeka simula la simula la even these small things of heart of Christ. Operation discharge. Then there is somebody who is passively also ministering. Just say we are proud of you. You must be because you you understand. I want miracles happen. I say for us at our church. Miracles. Then they want to be on our side. Praise the Lord. Let's read it in the message version. Praise the Lord. You prove your own work. 
Don't fly under men's shadows. Don't rely on men's egos. No, no, no. Mm -mm. You do your own thing. That is the only way your spirit will find peace. You're lying to yourself. Where in if you think that there's something and you're nothing, you're lying. Bobolo was so in a chori, that toy in a chori. Where in? Praise the Lord. Mokama eva. What's wrong with you? Chiji. Okay, give me a hard copy. Message version. While the guy sorts himself out. No. Praise the Lord. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm mhm. Okay. It says. What am? It says. Okay. Yeah. He says, if you think you're too good for that, you're badly deceived. Let's continue. Get a man. Make a careful exploration of who you are and the work you have. And then sink yourself into that. Don't be impressed with yourself. Don't compare yourself with others. You go in there and explore. What have you gained? There is nothing sickening. Come on. There is nothing sickening. Like folk who don't do anything. But they are very quick to judge those who are doing They don't do anything. They don't do anything. And then you have the audacity to judge who is doing. Like they experience the now. And, and hear God and now to judge okusale misango okumanya nti bundi wa take on what they don't know they they don't know. Know. let me tell you a man who judges die no better omuntu atale misanga batayina abula mukumanya a man who loves knows better omusajja ayagala yabasinga okumanya i father many of you I know many of your witnesses. Things that never even sat down to talk to me. Some of them I even see them in vision. Some of them I see them in vision. Some of you I send you messages and rebuke you. Some of you I know it. But I just pray for you. I have never told you anything. Wow. But I know you. People bring things every day. Every day. Because some of them, they don't do it in the right spirit. Some of them do it to gain favor. But those who do it in the right spirit, they have If a man does it in the right spirit, they don't go after talking to you and tell it to another man. Because they are doing it in the right spirit. But if the man is doing it in the spirit of another, that is the devil. After telling you, he will go and tell another one, and tell another one, and tell another one, and tell another one, until the whole group know. That's why the Bible says, labor all your days to mind your own. Work hard with your hands that you might have a testimony among them that are without. You must learn to mind your own. Praise the Lord. Amen. You go into exploring your anointing. The work of God that you have. Think yourself in understanding how will the healing anointing work in my life. If I am anointed to preach, how will I preach? If I am anointed to preach, how will I teach? If I am anointed to prophesy, how will I prophesy? Some people get way busy in gossip. Like it is their work. 
They know Pastor Zakshu. Bamanye su engato ya mzeiza. They know Michael's phone. They know Bamanye esimu ya msuma Michael. They know who bought a new radio. Bamanye ani ya kuze radio. They are what they are. If you be by now. That's the best they can do. E chute ba inzo kula choka. There are people who are dying in Mulago. What do you want to have a play in Mulago? People who are dying every day. I want to have a play in Mulago. And all you do. To find out who did a new hair, who bought a new piece, how much did you buy? Mind your own business. Talk to me. Each of you must take responsibility for doing the creative best you can with your own life. Everybody's life, your own life. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Mukama ye basibe. Next verse. Huh? Praise the Lord. We'll come there. Put your put your hands. Let's wait. Mulinde. Praise the Lord. Mukama ye basibe. Praise the Lord. Mukama ye basibe. Praise the Lord. Mukama ye basibe. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. What is your work? Omulimu gochi. Here. Wano. I know somebody who washes. Mani abatunda mamani. I know the guys who interpret. Mani abagunula. I know the guys who play the drum. Mani akube a jazz. I know the guys who 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 prepare them. O aba aba bi teka teka bi nuna mamani. I know them. Mamani. I know the guys who do hospital medicine. Those guys who drive you and you don't even get a shame to put 10,000 of fuel in the car that they drive you to for more hospital ministry. I know the people who work. I know people who don't work. I know people who work to fund this ministry. I know people who work to feed their own bed. I know people who bless us. I know people who don't bless us. I know people who visit every day. They visit every Saturday. They are going to spend one year, but they are still visiting. You understand? Okay. Thank God that our sufficiency is, is not of you. You understand? Mm. So you are God has given us an authority. Right? Mm. And that authority has given us the right to say certain things in your life. But we don't take that as advantage to manipulate you. We take that as an advantage to bless you. We preach you to the rhythms of grace. We preach you to priestly kings. We preach you to that. Because that's why we believe you are. That's who you are. I know the person. She annoyed her pastor. The pastor cast her. So that you eat just like this. She might. She might. Are you that? But I wonder what will the man of God benefit? That's immature. How can you cast your own? How? Oh dear. I see people who get too angry. If I murder you, I'll keep quiet at you. I will not curse you. I will not. I'll pray for you, but I will not curse you. Because whether you are cursed or not, it doesn't add up anything to me. What adds up anything to me? Your progress. How will I take a cast guy to God? Ministers must understand this. And if you're going to pastor a church tomorrow, you must understand this. People are your ministry. Not the sermon. 
healing anointing. Not your prophetic anointing. People are your ministers. That's why Paul says we labor that we might present them perfect in Christ. Perfect in Christ. Not two. So I am not the one who perfects you. It is Christ that perfects you. I never to see Christ perfecting you. Perfect. So I don't take the right of perfecting you. No, I take the honor of the gift of God working in me to grow you. But what is your work you? Not to be perfect. I know the guy who gets the piano and, and, and I know the guy who gets the camera. And, and the I know the guy who records this. Yeah, yeah, who, 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 who goes and buys for us soda. Yeah, guy that soda who man. would preach. And you go back to the throne and the funny clothes. And and you know you know the the but I know the guy who does it. I know that there. You understand? There are there. I know that. You, what is your role? Don't look at the other guy behind you. Prove your own work. I know who turns the kids on time. I know who turns the kids on time. I know who keeps this child. I have a relationship with him that I have. That I don't have with many of you who call me on a daily basis. He knows it. Are you listening? That even when we have our private things, nobody will know. Why? Right. Because at a certain point. I am obliged to bless him in another way. There are people here with nice voices. We still plead with you to see. I wish God gave it to somebody who I know can do it. You prove your own work. Don't just be around to see special show. Prove your own work. Some of you, we work every day. Okay? Mm. We preach to you every day. We bless you even in substance almost every day. You understand? The only thing you can do, we don't give me money. Because I'm sorry. You know, help me and prove your own work. I have Christians here in church who don't have job. And you wake up at 10 and gossip the whole day. No, you may embossed on Facebook the whole day. No, we're not on Facebook or not on that. Until the evening, you come from Fresno. Pack our regular job at Fresno. Then gossip the whole day. And no damu or gamba chido chon. And sleep the whole day. And then you wake up or not on that. Then the evening, you come from school of fire. Or regular job at school of fire. Then the next day, you sleep the whole day. And then you wake up and you wake up or not on that. Watch movies the whole day. No, I'm a film or not. It's or not on that. Then on Wednesday you come and jump up. Or work at no jail. Sometimes on Wednesday you're too tired than me who has been working. Kakati at all work works at no work. Oye nyok singa zabadda. But you can't even be there to minister camp. Nti kakati ngato inda na pera o kumpu muda. I know guys. Mani abantu ane. Who used to live makere? Abavange makere de. An hour before jump up. And they would go and introduce themselves to the Chambogo students and plead with them to come for the meeting. I have never told them anything. But to them, that was enough. I, I wasn't in there, they just came and said, so, Papa. Papa. God has spoken to us. Every one hour before you preach, we will be going in those dormitories and looking for people. These days, I don't know that they still do it.
But somebody had a mind to come one hour early. No one who wants to hear from the Lord was on foot. A star will make them do something for God. Ah, they go to chapel and they don't come. Some of you come even when we are finishing service. Ah, but we come when we are done the service. Prove your own work. Don't look at the other. Don't even judge who is preaching low grace. No, so that's fine. Leave that to people who are more mature. If you be the kind of abba to sing over, put up on a panya, put it up to the table, put it on your mantle. You be the kind of abba to sing over. You be far with you. Far to me, 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 you have the audacity to tell me, pray for me to get a job. What have the gospel benefited you? What has it benefited you? Uh. For me, when I was without work, I preached. Every day. Buri lu naku. That's why I I got tired of this whole nonsense of full time pastors who don't know what full time is. Eh, that na kwa wanyo. Pieces me off. No 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 ne ne bi ne bi ofuta ni bi ne bi ama full time. Mwa bata mani na full time teche tegeza. When I go in full time. Bunge na mu full time. All of you will say it's true papa ko. Mwe na mu jachi tegeza ni chitu buta again. Everybody will approve. Buri muti na jachi kiti. When papa is there. Even if it's tomorrow, all of you will say, "Ah, go." We will look up to you. Yeah, that's what you're going to do. In fact, Pastor Isaiah, I'm praying to God. I'm working on retiring you. I'm praying to God. This is a jagalo who will never call. That's that you can drive and just come at your car home and you have a motor car brought you. And go and be with Mama Deb. I get that very cool, man. Because every day he's here. How many hours does he spend with his wife? Three hours. 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 Sometimes Paul probably he might leave is just telling him thank you for preaching today. But the man who is not even thank you have even the audacity to speak about. Kakati omu sedja gote baza na kubuli da oyina no no gusobu sobu muogera ku. And judge his thumb. Eda no sale no ba kengeri jo we we bibi. You prove your work. We keme miri mucho we. We shall learn from you. Eda tu japu igira ku. If you've never built a house, you can't say how ugly your father's house is. You are the better one. When you build a better house, we will learn from you how to build a better house. Let me show you <laughs> what what I I would call true submission. Praise the Lord. Some of you, you know, are not even aware of this. Some of you have misunderstood this. And some of us, God, I also must apologize. You've not done the right thing. Ever since I met some of you, for those of you that have known me for years, I have how many years you know me. I have never impressed something on a man. Sina when nari nta teko buzi. Impressed to kuni giri zetu to kumun. And yet I know you stab me. I think I'm bama ni mokaka. There are people I know here I can call at two and they will be at my gate at two. Bama ni na ba tuwe maninga ne we mukubira kusawa. But if I don't have a car, I'll rather take a border border at two and not bother you. Nga na ya atenga, when I see na moto kwa chini puna border border neme kuta wanya. I know. Nenga atenga chimani. I know people who say, Ah, Papa, perhaps you will never die. Na ya, no, me I'll come. I know that. Nina be maninga bo wachi ya apa na inga akole de chenga gal. Mbaman. 
I know some people who I know people. Mm. Right? Mm. The other day, one people, one 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 of these people asked me, Hey, Papa, we're, we're going somewhere. I'm giving you an example. I'm going somewhere. I'd book to take you somewhere. I might, I might not, but I have organized somebody to take you somewhere. Because I know it's their budget. They help me. And I know people, if I don't have a car, they can tell me get on a board. And come. Do you understand? Do you understand, Brother Joy? Mm. We love them. We bless them. Eh? Mm. And we don't ask anything from them. We don't learn from this this time to come and say, Miss Mayor, I'm going to drop you. No, no. You prove your work. Maybe your work is not me. Maybe your work is something else. You prove your work. You prove your work. Wow. Let me show you Timothy's submission to Paul. Because if you don't understand, Paul had all kinds of sons. Paul had all kinds of sons. He had it cast. Boys who are not stable in ministry. He had the little marks. Who ran around the job. They don't seem attached to the church. He had one who forsook him for the world. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he spoke of a certain instance as well. Let's look for it. Let's look for it. I can get it. I can get it. I can get it. Let me show it to you. Let me show you all kinds of guys this guy has. Second Timothy chapter 4. Hey. Timothy we choke with your now, hey, let's go. Praise the Lord. Hey, I'm coming. Praise the Lord. Begin from verse 1. Second Timothy chapter 4 verse 1. Let me show you the kinds of kids Paul had. He says, I charge thee therefore before God. And the Lord Jesus Christ. He shall have the quick Preach the word. Be instant. Be instant. In season and out of season. Reprove. Reprove. Rebuke. Exhort. Zimba. With all long suffering. And doctrine. Continue. For the time will come when they will not endure a sound doctrine but after their own lust they shall heap themselves teachers having teaching years and they shall turn away from the they shall heap themselves teachers having teaching years they shall heap themselves teachers having teaching years they shall heap themselves teachers they shall turn away their ears from the truth and heap themselves teachers and they shall turn away their ears from the truth but watch though in all things they shall turn away their ears Endure affliction. Do the work of an evangelist. He's telling this guy. Make full proof of thy ministry. Next line. For I am now ready to be offered. And the time of my departure. This is somebody ready to hand over something. Uh, continue. Okay. I have fought a good fight. I have finished the course. I have kept my faith. Continue. Henceforth, there is laid upon for me a crown of righteousness. Which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me a crown. And not to me only, but unto them all that love his appearing. Next line. Uh -huh. Praise the Lord. Mm. Do thy diligence <laughs> to come shortly to me. You realize many times Paul had a lot of people around him. But there are people he always called to be around him. For such Timothy was an evangelist. By his nature, he was the guy who would always move. 
kakati mchukula chie mwere zabo ya mtu ya tambula ngenyo but many a time na hii mbiseda paul found himself wanting to be around paulo yeka nga 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 yeta gomu sajo ya mwere kumu chasin for this reason when i was living for macedonia uh, i left you in ephesus he left na, him there because they were together they were together they were together because at a particular point they were together na yenga bali kuwa mu they were things that there were there were people that brought I mean Paul satisfaction. And many a time in the scripture, he would tell him, carry for me so and so. Carry for me so and so. Even so in ministry. There are people I find so hard to be with without. I just love being around. They don't preach with me. But whenever I feel good because i know who they are and what they see there are people who i don't get shocked whether they come or they don't do i love them very much but there's something that is not in them you remember the guy who was healed in the, in the, in the, in the gospel of, 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 of luke mm. the bible tells you bible they laid the guy under the roof above the roof they opened the roof and put him there and the bible says bible seeing their faith he healed him there are people when you walk around them they have enough faith with you you can easily do more miracles when they are around not because you don't have faith but in instances where you might be attending to something they have enough faith for something this wasn't that jesus didn't have faith come on this wasn't that jesus didn't have faith no he didn't but it means that there are instances where it might not be in Jesus to do the miracle. But the fuck is walking around Those kinds break walls to see the man do the miracle. They don't criticize him. They don't judge what he didn't say they don't follow the lines of whether he used the word black a lot no they are business people press the roof that's the minute they don't care whose roof it is they don't care how much it costs if it means them putting back the roof after it's broken they'll break the roof that he might do it on my hand but he will remember it was their faith that's why he had many disciples but yes. there were 12 there were a 12 that was always around because they are his kind he doesn't mean he love, doesn't love the others no he he but our ministry sometimes now don't be again selfish you say the pastor then he for us he doesn't know no. so, so, you, you prove your business you, you prove yours you need people to, to, to follow you after watching you who do things in silence they don't advertise but they need let that be enough for you. You don't mm. need grace or apostle of you to know what you've done. You to know what you feel you must do. The God that approves every worker has a way of honoring people. He told him to do that diligence to come short. Next line. For dinner, uh, Demas, as for second, Lambeka. he loved this present world and is departed unto Thessalonica. How did he judge Demas? He didn't judge Demas. 
That's why if somebody leaves the church, I don't judge them. Maybe I was not meant to preach to them. But the love of God in me is big enough to love them even in the other church. Because this is love. Right? Mm -hmm. Christians, hey, Christians went to Galatia. Nagende Galatia. Titus. Tito went to Dalmatia. Nagende Dalmatia. Continue. Mm. Only Luke is with me. Luka yeka yari nangi. Take Mark. Let a Mark go. And bring it. Now, this, this mm. Luke, mm. Mark, John, Mubalababona. Matthew, do you realize why they had to write? Mula barwachi marino kuandika. Luka Yokana. Mumala Rachba in Okwandi. Do you realize why they had to write? Muchira Rachba in Okwandi. John. Yokan. The disciple whom God loved. Do you realize why they had to write? Omu Yigi is a square. Muchisu the Rachba in Okwandi. They knew the man. Bad Romanio Mustad. They knew their work. Bad Romanio Murimuab. Hey. Let me show you something about Timothy. Kamala Gekech and Putimose. That some of you have never read. Abantu Abasinga Timfasumanga. What I call a true sign of the gospel. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Timothy chapter 2. Timothy chapter 2. Philippians. Yep. But Philippians should have been. Let's begin from the 19th verse. Philippians chapter 2. But Philippians should have been. Let's begin from the 19th verse. But I trust in the Lord Jesus Christ to send him to Timothy. Paul's need for Timothy was bigger than I want you here. He even prayed it. This was his sign. In any right, Timothy never used to preach to Paul. Paul preached to Timothy. Paul had the numbers. Wow. Paul He didn't need many people around him. If it is people around him, we see instances where he separated himself because people were many. But we see the guy still wanting Timothy. And let me show you why Paul loved Timothy. He says, but I trust in the Lord to send Timothy a shortly unto you. That means, not only does he want to be around Timothy, but in instances where he is needed, he can easily send Timothy. Let me tell you, some people don't understand the ranks of the state. There are people who join this ministry. I'll give an example of this man. He came to ministry and in three months, I could trust him to send it. He might not be the deepest preacher. But in three months, I could trust him. And there are people who have been around here for a whole year. Some of you have known him in two years. Maybe you even have a deeper someone than him. But it's hard for me to trust him. Prove it to him. Prove it to him. Prove it to him. Prove it to Proving your work sometimes is not the things you do. You easily see it in a man. You see it in a woman. You see it in the past. You see people who are ready to die for it. Do you understand? Mm. That's how the, the spirit is wrong. You don't choose who now, there are people who will feel bad and say it's unfair. This guy has just come and is preaching. I'm coming on you. That I may also be of good comfort when I know your state. Next line. For I have no man. Like-minded, who will naturally care for your step, like Timothy. He knows. Here they are not talking about him distributing food. Timothy was a preacher. Timothy was a man who could get to the church. 
you know, and carry the very spirit of his father and do what will bring comfort to the father he might not be the deepest but I'm satisfied when I know he's going next line for all sick thereof not the things which are Jesus Christ. Eh, Jesus Christ. In this instance, he's talking of those other people As you get up, that were around him. He laid hands on them. He cast out devils with them. They went to the same ministry. But he knew who sought his own. And he knew the mind, the man of like mind. God has given us that discretion. You have the audacity to judge it. But we'll still produce fruit. You prove your work. Well, and then you will prove your work. There are people, and I'm not segregating, I'm being honest. There are people I can tell do this, and I know they're going to do it with all their heart. There are people I can tell do this. I know they're not going to do it. But they have the right attitude. And there are people I can tell not to do it. Even when they avail themselves to do it. Because I know they seek their own. Wow. Not Christ. Savior Christ. Mm. Let me preach to the choir. Let me tell you something. If a guy ever comes and sees you cute, I'm talking to you, lady. And then he starts to do all these mad things because he finds you cute. That one I'll not allow him to marry you. Because he's doing those things to seek after you. Right. We know them. We know them. You can hear a pin drop. Make a pin with a book. There are people I know. If I tell them, let's pray, they will pray until they get answered. There are people I can't even trust to pray. But they say they are submitted. I don't want your money. I don't want your gold. I don't even want you to brush my shoes. Uh-uh. I don't even want you to brush my shoes. Don't. Uh -uh. You prove your way. Kakasa. Mirimoto. Finish the month and say, how many have I led to Christ? Have I done in the church? What have I done at the university? What is accorded of me? I know, many sick their own. Let's lie. Again. But you know the proof of him. With Timothy, you know. You know the proof of him. But as a son with the father, he has served me within the gospel. Like a father and a son, he has served me. Do you understand? Mm. I know those kinds of people. I know people who have served with us in the gospel. I know people who come just because we are anointed. I know people who come just because you preach a nice thing. But I know people who we have served with. I know people who we have suffered with. One time I walked kilometers with Michael. Because you have to live overnight and go to another ministry. 
We walked. During that, at that point, we didn't have a car. Ah, we in a motor car. And we had members of the church who have cars. I think that's why you have a way that I'm to tell you. Do you understand what I'm trying to tell you? Mm. Do you understand? Mm. Of course, I didn't need their car. Suddenly, they said that I'm going Because Jesus never used cars. I'm not used to your car. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. But I walked with that guy for kilometers. Miles. Why? Because we were rushing. Right. To, to get a car to get us to Kampala and, and we preach in another overnight. overnight and then we wake up in the morning and that was okay. get dressed and go to work oh, I can't forget it oh, you I can't it's so good. and there are people who when you even move with them for 2 kilometers it's huh? I hate struggling with the gospel. Do you understand? Mm. Do you understand? Hey. Yeah. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? The Bible says, but you know the proof of him, Timo. That as the son with the father, he has with me in the gospel. He has. He has. There are people who have. Some people have done things in this ministry. That I when I think about them, I want to cry. There are two people who almost lost their lives last year. Because of our discourse. I was told. They had even hidden it from me. But they, they would have died. For the gospel. Do you understand? Mm. They are not as close. <laughs> but they would have died for the day. I know them. They almost lost their life. Until a certain report came to me and told me how. Paka. They, they even hid it away from me. Because I know they have served with us. Like Paul says, they don't seek their own. They seek Christ. They're not here because they've seen a certain guy whom they think has covered them. No. They're here because they love Christ. Because they love Christ. Praise the Lord. That is the proof of a minister. The proof of somebody who is submitted. Do you understand? Mm. Because we don't rub authority over you. It doesn't mean God doesn't honor us. It does. Somebody wants to come, Papa. Somebody says, how can you call a man your papa? You understand? Mm. That was their problem. Let me tell you. Call me Grace. Grace. I'm still anointed. Do you understand? Mm. Call me Rebecca Grace. Mm. I'll not hang you. Mm. I will not. See you. That's why there's nobody who can say, me, you call me Grace. What? So you're not going to leave me with a computer in your God delivered me from titles long ago. I don't introduce myself as a pastor, you know it. I don't. I'm Grace Lumega. But when a man serves with you, and never calls you your name, not my name, it opens your eyes to something. I'm not saying don't go. No. 
Sigambi mbute mumpi tamanyaka Sigambi mbute keke By the way, in that, in that instance, I prefer to be called grace on those titles Banango rumu jaka na mumpi tenarinyari yango kusungu kunte kake iritiwa But there are people in his ministry Nengo nguwa bantumbuwe Who can never call me Ata soho la kuita rinyari yo Whether you're joking or not Oba musago bate musago Number one is Pastor Ibe Oh, oh boy My spiritual father Asokera dala yemzei wa musumbai zai. He has never called me grace. Tam Peter linya liangenga tukuri. Never. Never. Touch kola. And I have never called him zai. Nange simu itanga linya liyekal. He knows it. Achiman. Never. Si sobola. Say zai zai. I have never. Ah ah. If I called him zai, he wouldn't mind. Never never muite linya kalu tapa ali. But there is something in the gospel called double honor. Waliwo echintu mungire echitwa obu wechitwe teminunje ebiri Praise the Lord. Mm. First Timothy chapter 5. Timothy we tsoke so last time. Olwe 10. Olwe 10 musa. Timothy we tsoke so last time olinyo rekuza. Let the elders that rule well. Bible ye kama nti leka abakadde abafuzo bulu. We counted what your double honor. Baba liwe okuba nechitwa echeminunje. They who labor in the work and in doctrine o kusingi la dala abo aba kula mchigambo ni mungikiri that's why I can't call him if you do I don't mind goba wu mchigambo wu kula sifa yo and I'm not mad at you ate siku nyigira you understand I am not mad at you siku nyigira that's why you call grace I'll respond and say wanjini yamo edha wu mpite rinja dha nenja kuka mwa wanjini yamo nobody here can tembo if they call him grace and say no 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 don't call me grace call me apostle no I don't like titles I don't like titles I don't like titles but it's another thing you meet a person who has never called you grace you ask yourself why we use what am I making sense Mm. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. You see, let me tell you submission. Some people think submission is when you come and then wash my trousers. And then you kneel down and then sleep on the ground. I don't want those my things. Those substance of submission. Begins with the person you sit next to. The Bible says, submit yourselves to one another. Before you even submit to anybody, what submit yourself to the person next? So the Bible says, and the Bible also says, for some of you who didn't have the opportunity to learn these things in your home, anybody older than you in any right, either in age or in the anointing, respect them. Ah. Some of you, you didn't learn it by your mother. Your father didn't teach it. It is hard a for a guy who is in that. his twenties to teach it. Okay, that way, it's even your mother. I didn't hear that you are going to go now. We are going to go to the market to buy some shoes. Because they never learned it from their father. They never learned it from their mother. Why does a twenty-something-year-old dress? Well, let me use the authority of the Bible. The God who lived before you. Who is older than your parents? Timothy chapter five, verse one. Who is older than your parents? Who is older than your parents? Who is older than your parents? Ephesians 5.21 is submit yourself to one another. Eh, bepe sota na vile mwe muka ebo ebito, mukutia katika. To one another. Mwe kama na mwe kwa. That means you even respect the person next to you. Sita geza no no mtu kodi na ni omwa eti tibati. Cost them something they can accord respect to. Kaka ti kodi eti tibati na sopo roku ite eti tibati okuwe bwe eti tibati. Don't just call them anything. Tuba la kabai ita ita. Don't call anybody anything. To ita mungu yenye chini tuto na chosanz. That guy, that one, that woman, that woman. That, don't, oh. don't. Submit yourselves firstly to the person next to you. Oh, you, 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 you,
Because if you don't submit to them, you don't tell me you submit to us. I'm telling you scripture, not grace. Let me show you some verse. Praise the Lord. First Timothy. Stand Chapter 5. Besides, I charge thee before God. And the Lord Jesus Christ. And the elect angels. Did you hear it? Before God. God. And the Lord Jesus Christ. And the elect angel yeah, that you observe these things without preferring one before another. To Okay. Okay. Let me show you some verses. Yes. 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 Did you hear that? First time that I can do something wrong. Muse Isaiah. You can do something wrong. I use a sorry. But I don't have the audacity. Let's see now. To stand in front of all of you. Oh, I'm telling Pastor Isaiah. You are bad. But he has the authority. May I know you? To do it to me. Look at the physical parenthood. Unless your father is sick. No. You can bathe him. But you can bathe him. You can if he's normal, you can't bathe him. But he had the audacity to bathe him. Because at one point, whether you don't regard it or not, there was there. a time you could not help yourself. And he was there. Some of you devils first leave you and you become proud on us. But you don't remember the time when you came. You got demons. I'm saying these things because in future we don't want to talk about them. You are judging a man because of what he's preaching. But at a particular point he cast the devil out of you. Out How many have you cast out of him? Intuit him as a father. What was wrong with the person? Who had somebody call me Papa? What was wrong with them? Kakati. Yeah. What is wrong with me calling my father Pastor Do you understand? Mm. He told me and treat him as a father. He he told me. Me. And the younger men as brethren. Next line. The elder women as mothers, Abba and me are the older than Abba you, Abba and they are elders. Pastor many of you who are around me, usually hear her call me, my son. Because when the first four years I was under Pastor Ansila, I submitted myself under her. And after four years, she told me, no, God has told me to submit myself under you. She is my spiritual daughter. But because of what I am taught, I can't stand in front and start to say, that is my spiritual daughter. She oversees 12 churches in Rwanda. She has a congregation of 250 people and more. That she supports. But when I'm around her, I never use that language. I call her my mother. Many of you have been in the meetings when I said Mama Bukenya. I have never called her Ruth Bukenya. I always use the word Mama Bukenya. Why? 
Right. Mm. This scripture. So maybe I want to keep it. Am I making sense? Mm. Now you're not going to be too anointed. Because talking about what foot I lean in you. To get an old woman in charge. For example, I see this woman is older than me. And because you're a pastor, you're seated here in front. You call her by her name. She's our mother. Whether you want it or not. Because that's what the scriptures say. You don't break the ranks. That's why Paul knew Timothy. He knew if I send Timothy, he won't find an old woman and call her okay. Valeria. He'll call her Mama. For me, it's more important for a man to go out representing me and find an old woman and call her Mama than one with a very big anointing and he'll find an old woman and call her Joan. He might be associated, but he's not of like mind. Even if you are, I can't keep you close. I will love you like Christ loved the church, but I can't trust you for something. I'll believe that you can do it. I'll pray that you do it. It ain't just support you call it. I'll hope you do it. But when I'm looking for somebody to send, I'll look for the one who has the right mind. One whose ministry has been proved. That's why he told Timothy, study that you might be approved. The beginning of approval is how much a man knows in God. Some of you, even these two things you receive, we preach to you. Even when you you read your Bibles like newspapers, you don't get anything except what you receive on Sunday. But it's another when a man studies. Watch the people I am around me. No, watch. The people I'm around with. Watch. Begin. When I walk with a man, when Tambula no more, they either adopt or they don't, but they if they do, they have some. They have some. When Tambula no more, Baba ko ebin tuwe ba kwata kundi. Bato koko kumfana na mungere move. Simba kete Baba. It might not be evident to you. You might even get annoyed. But Papa hangs out with this one more than this one. For me, he doesn't want to hang out with me. But imagine, I can't wake up in the morning and the kid sends me a text message, Pastor Simon. I was reading Hezekiah chapter 6. And I'm realizing that the essence of this scripture is regards to the sacramentics of Christ as of represented in Luke chapter what do you think? Then another one calls you and tells you, and I know that one calls you and tells you, and I know that one calls you and you, and now, I speak the truth in love. Of course, I will want to know what she read in Hezekiah. That I've not read. There are people in this ministry. They can tell you. Before they even submitted. I used to look for them. I didn't seek their submission. But there is something I wish to feel I need. I want to see in them. But I've never told a man, God has told me that I'm your spiritual father. Kneel down with my shoe. 
was my dog. No. Not a <laughs> Start to show yourself a proof. Waking me when I get to the inside you. Uh, how much did you can you can do? Do? I mean, you can be a prayer item for years, but for a certain point, darling, you must also turn and also look oh, for you prayer items. Look for other people to pray for. There are people here I know. Yeah. 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 Three months ago, they were clapping. Now, they are and there are people I know who have been with us for a year. They don't even know how or what to preach. Are you listening? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. That's why Paul tells you. When a man gets to the understanding that he's alive for Christ's sake, for Christ's sake, that you don't tell that man in the chair. Because there's a difference between Christ's pursuits and labors. And selfish interest. At least we know the difference. Now, let me go to that last bit. Because I, what I have, I might share even up to tomorrow, but I, I might not. Now we come to the ramp. Let me share one last thing. Now we come to the ramp. Pastor Zach James Ministry. After one month, I trust him to teach. And many of you who have heard him know I wasn't wrong. There are people who know what he knows. What do you have a man to a man? But they stop, they don't know him. Go. They get annoyed. And they say, Oh, because I'm hanging out with Pastor Zach. Let me tell you about the woman Jezebel. Because there are things that kept for years, but because some of you are mature, let, let me feed you, let me tell you something in three or four minutes about Jezebel. For those of you who have read the story, Jezebel was the wife to Ahab, to Ahab. yes. Right? The king. Jezebel was the wife to Ahab, to Ahab, Now, she gets married to Ahab, Ahab is king, Ahab, Kabaka. The next thing we realize, you never hear Ahab doing decisions anymore. You hear her doing her own bit. You hear her accepting kingly judgment. Without the very anointing and blood. The woman Jezebel is fine. This is the funny thing about that woman. People are wrong to think she doesn't submit. She submits. She would not have claimed to be the wife too. But the secret about her, she will submit to anything she can control or have its way of. If you don't do things the way she wants, she'll fight to get everything she wants without honoring authority. Now, if you put Pastor Zach on a pulpit and she feels it's not right, she will do everything in her power. To even control who stands on the pulpit. Whether you pastor either feel it or you don't. 
She submits to anything she can control. And if you read scripture, you never hear Ahab speak to Jezebel and Jezebel listen. But she will subdue until she causes the man to listen. Until she had to now like the witness of Ahab. That by that very manipulation, she felt she was the authority to rule over Israel. That's the problem. With such people, they can't submit to anything. They can't control. They want to know. When are you going to buy machine? If you don't buy machines and you buy them, their problem will not be their issue will not be thank God we have a machines and Pastor Isaiah I bought machine. I didn't know. But I didn't ask him how much. Some of us are maker. Why didn't you tell me? That's the one back home. No. Mm. Yesterday we just stood and said, Wow. Mm. Joshua, we were to the Sabu and the Because God has led him that way. And I trust his leadership. Yeah. <laughs> if I had Jezebel, I'll ask him, How could you buy machine? Without pain. That's a problem. So what was it true for? Whether you're, you're raising dead man or you're not, you but go, but but you go through, through him. him. Yeah. Just go through him. If you don't sing, if you don't give us money, we shall not sing. Hey, no, woman, me, I don't pay you. Even if I give you money, it's not enough for you. We preached you a gospel that has made you sorry than a million things every month. If you want it, yoke yourself. We will pay you that million. For me, I am believing that a million shillings every month won't buy my worship leader a Range Rover. But the gospel can teach him to believe God for that Range Rover. So I preach to him something that I know will make him buy that Range Rover. That will draw a difference between worship team and worship team out of Christ. will draw a difference between worship team and worship team ministries and worship team out of Christ. That's the woman Jezebel. Now let's not confuse Jezebel, Jezebel, Jezebel with virtuous woman. I didn't want to go there. First time I can I go there a bit. He has allowed me. Auntie, that was his topic February. How many of you have read the story of uh, John Gillette? John Gillett, your brain. John Gillett had a woman called Jenny. John Gillett, yeah, you know, when someone comes, yeah, you know, they got married. They got married. In fact, he prayed for her one time. She was almost dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was John Gillett was prophetic. John Gillett, yeah, he had a healing anointing. He was the preacher. Jenny was a black woman. Jenny, yeah, he was a woman. But Jenny was already there. She was in the back, but always there. Now, what made Gilex's ministry successful more than many ministers? In fact, if you read in history, you realize no minister has it effect like John Gilex and they were not married. If they were not, look at all the ministers who were not married. But we again did it. No minister. But we again did it. Who has not married? Could be John Gillette. 
the one where they are supposed to sing a John Dillon. Jenny had also a rare prophetic anointing. Jenny so, they used to have Abu healing lines. Read because generous. They used to have healing lines. By now, oh, 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 healing lines. Lines of hey, Okay. Hey. So she would lay hands on the sick. Katinga, I mean, he, 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 he would lay hands on the sick. And they healed. And those who were not healed were taken in a special room. And after everybody was gone, they were kept. They would get to the special room. And when they entered the special room, Jilek would shut up. Because Jenny knew how to get a man who refused to be healed. And because she had a prophetic anointing, she would tell her, you, you're not healed. Because you have this problem. And this problem. They lay hands, the guy is healed. No, you, you're not healed because of this reason. Oh, 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 oh. There, Gilek doesn't even talk. Oh, 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 oh. God speaks to this guy. Rich guy. Rich guy. And tells him, sell your all. Sell your all. Sell everything you have. Sell your all. Sell your all. Sell your all. Sell everything you have. And believe me. On the kid. To provide. Give everything to the poor. Jilek asks God, How am I going to tell Jenny this? God told Jilek, She's your wife. As he's planning to finish everything, God can watch and see. He tells the guy, I'm sending you to Africa. I'm sending you to Africa. Jilek is like Chino Chikwa. He goes to Jenny. Nagen de wam chala. He tells the Jenny. Nam gam. Your husband. Ndi muami wum. Your husband. I'm telling you, God has told me. Eh, na ngo muami wum di kuga ba. Come and grab this. Sell everything we have to to double check you now. And let's go to Africa. Again, they go to Africa. Stop. Nam gam. Jilek. Jilek. How could you be slow? God told me already. Let's talk about it. Kulindonga betonga buba tete. Tugudide tugende. That is called marriage. Obo webo pumbo. For some women I know. Abachala basinga be mani. How could you even think? O chiro wozako. I can go to Africa. Couldn't you even consult? What makes him the head? See, What makes you the helper? See, Because uh, uh, without him, you might not do it. Ubanga, what are you but without you, he might not know how to do it. He might not know. He might not know. This is deep. Uh, that's why the Bible says the husband is the head. Bible of the wife, as the Christ is the head of the church. That means yourself. To your husband, Kati, even as an to the Lord. Kati Bible says, "Vega manti we kaka ni ze kaka ni da omwami wo nga eri mo kamafe." What you can't tell Jesus, don't tell it to your man. Choto in the put damu Christo Yesu to chiga ngamu bow. You will cook. Oja kufumba. Ah, yeah, you know you clap. Some of you don't hang yourself. It's still okay. I'm telling you, this is damu ni damu ni zenyo na ye. Bwe bache ba fum. Ah. The Bible also tells us me. Bible ya tukamba tu gamba pa bamu. Madam lo zani na bali kai. You thought you had survived. Ndija. I'm coming. Na ba wana mu. I'm about to to praise you in it. The liberty we have over them is not for us now to do what we feel we want. Nti edembe no bwinza byo tukai nako atesika kisa ka kola. As men mature, Bible ya gamba treat your wives as Equal partners in the Bible. Equal partners. Let me tell you. Yes. 
when a woman submit or muchara wa kakana she doesn't need to remind the man treat me it will automatically uh, but when a woman fighting, even me, I, even me and my woman, oh, I'm I'm talking 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 without me. There's something wrong. What which child? Uh. I'm telling you as one who has cancelled. And we have people who are getting married. Uh. Revelation, not experience. I best say me. Let me tell you. I was was even harder. You know this simple submit. I was is as Christ has loved. That's even harder. In the natural human standpoint, because even if she does this stuff, forgive me. Even if she does what you forgive me, like she shouldn't speak to you what she can't tell Christ. You also can't do to her what Christ can't do. Now we're talking about doing a mukola Christo chata sobola mukola. Wow. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. That's different from Jezebel. Okay, let me give you an example. How many of you have read of a king called Barak? Barak? Barak had a woman, and her name was the same name as our mama Deborah. Deborah was a prophetess. Deborah God speaks to Barak. Tells him, go and chop you a certain kingdom, now, I'll give you everything. Hey, right now. Right. Barak chills. Barak in Africa. The Bible tells you the guy was scared. Bible he was a weak, weak, clean guy. He didn't even know how to do it. Now the women I know about it. Start from there. Come in. Come in. He's not doing it. He's not doing it. He's not doing it. No. Deborah goes to Barak. And tells the guy. Now. He didn't say, I am your wife. No. God spoke to you. Katonda, Now. Because she knows. Like she submitted to him, he's also submitted to God. And God has a way to her without necessarily passing through Barak. She tells the guy, God spoke to you, Katonda. Yeah, you get the now, and you refuse. Why don't you subdue and obey God's order? Barak said, I am scared. Okay. This woman says, no. This is not what we want to do. This is not what we want to do. I'll do it if you come with me. Barak said, I will do it if you come with me. The scriptures tell you Deborah saddled her bag and went with Barak. With Barak. Do you understand? Mm. As for you women, if you're ready to bury a pastor, be ready to move with him everywhere he's going. You're not ready. Look for an engineer. Don't waste your time. You will hurt. You will hurt. You will hurt. You hear he has gone with her. And you will burn with jail. Because he has gone with her. 
And it's not that he has a relationship I with her. I think that since you, I buy now you have a relationship No. Uh-uh. She submitted. He's teaching her. Omo chalo na amu kakani. De amu so mesa. So, what amu? This where is that? His work also. Kati omu limu gwe. Naguna omu limu gwe. He must prove his ministry. I think what kaka so where is that? John. That's a net kakati. Mr. Mbass. That's a problem. She said it did. Now. If, if, um, if you find the man with three people around him, let me tell you, whether he's a priest not, if he will cheat, he will cheat. But if you have a heart of Christ, if you belong to heart of Christ, think it in your head, your husband won't cheat. You think it. So in another ministry, that's yours. But if you're here, don't even think it. Because the man thinks in his heart, so he is. Now, you see, if you're not ready, you can be ready. Look for a doctor. No, no, I'm sorry. Mm-mm, again, that's the answer. Eh, eh. Oh, look, I'm going to give you a TV. Oh, okay. If you're marrying a man of God, there are times you won't watch TV together. There are times you will both be in ministry laying hands on the street. Him healing and Jenny telling us who is not healed and what they are. That when Barak goes to war and then he starts to fight, the scriptures tell us Deborah stayed back. Pray. Pray. Prophesy. In the camp. She wasn't home. She was with the guy the After ministry, they obtain order and victory. The scriptures tell us that he carried his woman, put her in front of people and said, For thou, Deborah, are proved to be a mother of all. Wow. Why? Because when you're a pastor's wife, you mother. Right. Bobe na mchana musumba oba mama. If you listen, listen. If you don't, Bobo uli visa uli visa. Oba tu uli visa kwa mani. Uli. Now speak to God in two minutes. Kakati yoke na neka tuna muda chika bili. Ni muse to bozili. I know some of you don't even know what to pray. If you don't. Kadamu te mumani na chaku saba. If you don't. Boba tu mani. Just tell him I love you, Lord. No, you can't love me. What can I do? Ragabe saliva. Zonda libre de cuenta. She de 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 de. There, there. The inhabitants of the villages ceased. They ceased in Israel until I gave her a rose, but I may a rose of mother in Israel.
That if God truly spoke to you, you didn't finish the word that you would You didn't have selfish prayer. That this is your church. Listen to me loud and clear. Prove your work. Do what God calls you to do. Kola katonda chia kuita okola. There is no body. The wali mutoa without a calling. Atali na kuitiwa. Maybe you might not preach. Or you just got to the mobile. And God has anointed you to fund the king. They don't put katonda na yapute na ukute kabumbu wele zase. Work so hard. Kola nyo as unto the Lord. Nga kuli na mukama. And build the ministry. Ela usibu wele zase. If you are teaching, bobo li mu someta. Someta chiga. If you are a counselor, if you are a worshiper, if you are a worshiper, if you are there and you have a nice voice, and you are refusing, it's okay. So what's up? God will raise another in your step. If you refuse to preach, and spend the whole day doing that, no man will come to know what toy that you are calling. Well, I know it's a nap. Cut on that yellow room, man. I don't know it. They never get you good. But anybody that is submitted in this ministry, everybody must be that a kakana wants to obey the zabun. I ask by the grace of God that it be just. Father, make such a cut on that thing. It's godly love. Mukwaga lo kubwa cut on that. That we are all laborers. We defend that to the cause of the gospel. Mundi. All of us. We represent Christ. We are the only Christ the world will know. Nobody, I don't care whether you don't preach. Somewhere, somehow, a it must be a satisfaction inside you that you do something for God every day. For me, seven years ago, I promise my God. I promise my God, I'll preach this gospel until I die. I promised him, and I preached to him faithfully every day. Because that's my satisfaction. That's it. We believe him for you. 
we pray for you. We fast for you. We spent money for you. We fast for you. We spent money 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 for you. You must likewise do now for those that shall come up to you I don't care whether you are an administrator I don't care where you are working the gospel is our primary profession these are the things you will follow I don't care what you feel I don't care what you think you want to believe But if you understand the love of God, nothing should come before Christ. Even when you're married, it should not come before your mind. Marriage should not come before Christ. Because he loved you before even that man met you. Kubanga Kristo yakwanga na ngano musaje eto na musanga. That man never died for him. Oyo musaje te yakufirira ko. Christ did. Kristo yakufirira. Lord we thank you for today. Mukama tuko bazororwa lero. We thank you because you've done great things. Kwa batakuwa ko zikuru bingi. And I pray that this might not be taken by feeling and anger. Eransa bachi no tire me kutwali ko bakutegerwa na mpuliro bana busuru. All that no man thinks that I was attacking them. Oba wale mukuba omuti na roza ntina bate nnumba ye. They might understand that I speak this in God's name. Aye bategere ti bino byo nambyo gete mukwaka ro ko bwaka tonda. And for those that have learned your scriptures I know have grown to a certain level. Era maninga babai ke bya wandi ko bakuse kutale ta. And we'll see maturity in them. Hey, that's where the love of God will pour. In Jesus' name, Mulinya Eliya Yesu Christo. Give me the basket. Mulete bibu. Some are angry. Some don't know. But they preach. Praise the Lord.